do you know that if you carry the Holy Spirit inside of you, then you are carrying the strongest, most powerful force inside of you. You carry something in you that's bigger and stronger than an atomic bomb, something that's stronger than the biggest missile that America launched at any fortress. You are the man if you carry the Holy Spirit inside of you because God has made your body to be a vessel that can carry spirit in you. And when the Holy Spirit is in you, it is hard to contain it and it starts to flow right out of you and your whole atmosphere around your life starts to change. Hello, my name is Joseph. I'm from Unity with Heaven and today I want to talk about the character of the Holy Spirit. In Romans 14 from verse 17, we read there that the kingdom of God is righteousness, peace and joy in the Holy Spirit. And so therefore when the Holy Spirit is inside of you, what will flow out of your life and what will be your atmosphere and your surroundings will always be righteousness, peace and joy. And that righteousness is talking about provision, it's talking about generosity, it's talking about expressed kindness. And so when the righteousness of God is in your life, then you will always be kind to people, God will be kind to you, and His kindness and the expressions of His kindness will just flow out of you. And His peace will be on you, and peace means that there is total tranquility, there is rest, there is no worry whatsoever, because the peace of God is there, and the peace leads you, and the peace is uh, the ability to see the future and the hope that God has for your life. And then there's joy. And the joy of God is a force. It is might. The scripture says the joy of the Lord is your might. And when the joy of God is in you, it's a river that flows out of you. And with joy you draw the, the salvation of God out of, his, out of his walls. And so when the Holy Spirit is in you, the kingdom of God will manifest in your life. Jesus said, don't you know the kingdom of God is inside of you? And so the way the kingdom of God is manifesting is this righteousness, this peace, and this joy. So that is what the Holy Spirit brings. The other thing that the Holy Spirit brings is power. In Acts chapter 1 verse 8, it says here, there, you receive power when you receive the Holy Spirit. And you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem and in Samaria and Judea and out of uh, most parts of the world and so when you receive the Holy Spirit you receive power and the witness of God is not only words it is also prophecy and there's healing and it's a demonstration of the love of God and of the grace of God through your life and also into your life the grace of God the power of God that's demonstrated through the power of the Holy Spirit is amazing and that is what you need to be able to be a good witness of the Lord Jesus Christ and of the kingdom of God to establish his kingdom the Holy Spirit is also our teacher in John chapter 14 verse 26 we read but the helper the Holy Spirit whom the Father will send in my name he will teach you all things and bring to your remembrance all things that I have said to you. And so therefore the Holy Spirit always speaks what Jesus says and He is our teacher. He will teach you anything that you need to know. You just need to wait on Him and He will strengthen you. You need to sit with Him and you have to ask Him questions and the Holy Spirit is faithful to answer any question that you have. And He will also bring connections. The Holy Spirit is very clever to bring intersections. There was a story about an Enoch and he was reading the scripture in Isaiah and he didn't understand the scripture and the Holy Spirit knew this Enoch needed help and so the Holy Spirit woke up Philip and he said to Philip go and wait there on the road and then when the chariot come past run next to the chariot and so Philip did this and he started to explain to the Enoch once the Enoch led him into the chariot the gospel and the, the, the message about Jesus and salvation through Jesus. And 
The Holy Spirit organized it. You must go and read in the scripture. It says the Holy Spirit told Philip to go there. And so if you need anything, if you need teaching and you can't hear his voice, you will figure out a way to get someone to you so he can show you and he can teach you and he can mentor you so that you can fulfill God's plan for your life. Okay. The other thing that the Holy Spirit has, the Holy Spirit has fruit. Okay. So the Holy Spirit has fruit and he has power. And so when the Holy Spirit come and dwell in you, then his character and his character attributes will start to be manifested through your life. And I want to read you the list here. It says here, But the fruit of the Holy Spirit is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Against such there is no law. And so the Holy Spirit has these wonderful attributes and remember the Holy Spirit is all powerful and so therefore it says against such there is no power or there is no law there is no force that can come against the power of love that can come against the power of peace and of joy and of kindness and so the fruit of the Holy Spirit is powerful and so as the Holy Spirit starts to dwell in you and you have this massive force of power in you you will see how the fruit of the Spirit will grow in your life. And how does the fruit grow? It's by spending time with God, by spending time in the Word, by spending time in the presence of God, worshipping Him. And as you do that, and you spend time with Him, and also in the body of Christ, um, then you will start to produce the fruit. And as you grow and become more mature, more of the fruit will be in your life. It's the same as a tree. You plant a little tree, and then maybe after the third or second year, it bears some fruit. And then the fourth year, it, it bears more fruit. And the fifth year, and by the time it's 10 or 12 years old, it's got big branches and it bears a lot of fruit. And the same happens with us in our growth. But the Holy Spirit is not only character attributes uh, of fruit, but it also has the character of power. And so when we receive the Holy Spirit, we also receive power and we receive the gifts of the Holy Spirit. And so the gifts of the Holy Spirit is the word of wisdom. The word of knowledge, it's discerning of spirits. Those three things are things that you see, things that you discern. And then there is um, uh, the power gift that is healing, and that is miracles, and it is faith. And then there is also the gifts of uh, flow. And so those ones are uh, prophecy and tongues and interpretation of tongues. And all those nine gifts of the Holy Spirit can be activated in your life through faith. So you receive the Holy Spirit and then you need to step out in faith and activate the gifts of the Holy Spirit. God is calling us to look like the Father, to look like Jesus and to look like the Holy Spirit. He wants all three in us because God has created us in His image and He wants us to be, to be full, to grow, to be mature and to be expression of the kingdom of God here on the earth. And remember, the kingdom of God is righteousness, peace, and joy. That means at your home, at your work, everywhere around you, the atmosphere around you, always need to resemble the righteousness, peace, and joy that is in the Holy Spirit. God bless you.